She remembered who she was and the game changed. Hi, I'm Pooja Sonar from Sudur Pashim, currently pursuing my intermediate level in science from Sri Little Buddha Academy, Kanjanpur. Representing myself as an enthusiastic participant of the third national space speech contest. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Curie, Lady Augusta, Helen Keller, Malala Yousafzai, Florence Nightingale, and Mother Teresa. We all know these women and that these were the women who proved that women have never lagged behind and instead have taught the world a better way to live and learn. And space travel is definitely no big deal for us. Yet, women in space is something we get to hear about quite very less. And why not? Among the 565 astronauts who have been to space, only 65 were women. Women who represent one half of the total population are only one third to NASA's workforce. No woman has yet landed on moon. Do you wonder why? Gender discrimination? I don't think so. NASA or any other space agency, I think, is quite liberal about that. It's just that they are way too concerned about the risk space traveling carries, especially for women. They're worried how it may impact on their motherhood and on their children. Crap. Definitely, it's gender discrimination. It is a fact that men and women experience the same physical effects in space. Yes, space has different impact on the biology and psychology of men and women differently at different conditions. But I don't think this should restrict women from traveling to space. The short duration travels to space have no impact on the fertility of any astronaut. I'm telling you this because I have witnessed it so many times and you might have too that women astronauts often face questions by the press about how they compare the traditional expectations of motherhood. And it really angers me to see that why are women always the one expected to be mainly responsible for raising a child? Why are not men asked the same questions? Ladies and gentlemen, there are women enough and capable to be the next Valentina Teresco or the next Sally Rides or the next Kalpana Chawla. These women were the pride to their nation and there can be many more like them. You and I can be too. Only if this gender discrimination ends. The quote I said at the very beginning of this video. It's for all those girls out there struggling for their dreams to come true. Despite all the hardships, you are stronger than the world thinks you are. Your dreams are definitely important, but what's most important of all is to acknowledge yourself and know your worth. If you want people to be nice to you just because you're a girl, or if you're expecting the government to provide you special opportunities because you're a girl, I'm sorry, my friend, you're totally wrong. That's not how it works. Because opportunities are never for men or for women. Opportunities are for those who deserve. I want the government to realize it that the provision of basic rights to women is more important than the provision of reservations. If women are deprived of a basic uh, right like education, provision of reservation is useless. The goal is not to create women astronauts. The goal is to create women capable enough to, to achieve it on their own. They can be astronauts, they can be doctors, engineers, pilots, or anything, and do wonders. So ladies, Work hard and let your talent beat the patriarchy. With, without women, we stood in space with one leg only. I'm hopeful that very soon we'll have stood with both. Thank you. Have a nice day.